Hi guys, it's me Susie. I'm not sure if that's coming over. That's Pastor JD's Farag's channel. I'm watching this. I'm in my kitchen. I'm paying attention to all the things he's he's sharing. But look, you know, the gospel of Jesus Christ, that's the key right now. I know I do a lot of videos all about the God. I mean, all of them. I hope the message comes across. But um, what am I trying to say? Are you guys really believing what's going on? Are you really, really living for Jesus? Are you sure? Are you ready? Are you watching? Are you playing around in the world? Thinking you have time? You know, I just did a video yesterday. It was very just spur of the moment and I let the Lord speak through me. And I usually don't do a second video the next day. I don't feel... I don't feel pressed to do them that often, but when I do, um, I know it's I know it's the Lord prompting me, and maybe this is Him again. Um, I did put the word urgency at the title of that video, but I didn't put it there originally when I was uploading it. I just had the title of whatever it was. I can't remember. I didn't put urgency with it. Now, when we see urgency in the title of a video, Born Again, those of us who are watching, what do we think of immediately? Urgency. Well, something's happening. Something's going on. Oh my gosh, this could be it. Um, war is about to hit. The rapture's coming. Well, it wasn't a video about that. It was about the gospel of Jesus Christ. I see, I put, didn't put that together. I was going to show you that. Here, here I am in my kitchen listening to J.D. Farag's Bible prophecy for the week. Last week's is, was excellent. I'll leave that in the description box. This week is, I'm not done with it. Um, and it looks good too, of course. But last week was powerful. Share it. If you see it, share it. But the urgency is still very, very, very real. And yes, 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 Jesus is coming. We know this. We know this because we see what's happening in the world. I'm at two minutes already. The, the Lord wants, yes, all of us saved. And I said that in the video. The Lord wants all of us to be saved. He wishes that none would perish, but that all would come to repentance and call upon the Lord and be saved. So what are we doing about it? Are we sharing the gospel truth? The urgency to this is to tell you, if you don't know Jesus, you may take your last breath today. It's not necessarily, hurry up, urgent, the rapture's coming, you've got to get saved. You don't know you're going to even make it to the rapture. You might be one who is called home. God might say, today's the day you're going to take your last breath. Are you ready for that? It could be me, it could be you, it could be any of us. Do you know Jesus? Do you really, really know him in your heart? That's the urgency. You cannot just live day by day thinking you have tomorrow. You do. We do. We think we have tomorrow. I, I appreciate when people say, Lord willing, if you're talking about plans in the future, say, Lord willing, if it's God's will that we're still here, we'll go do this, we'll go do that. Lord willing. And um, hold on. I haven't done this in a while. I did a video once, I think, maybe twice, when I was making something. It was kind of fun because the scripture poured out of me with the with what I was doing. I don't forgot what I was making at that time. But I'm going to just do some potato salad. I was waiting for it to cool in the fridge. But, um, Lord willing, we will be here another day. And if we're not here tomorrow, are you leaving behind the truth? Did you, are you going to leave a, a good word for your, a good name for yourself because you shared the word of God? Are you? Are you ready? Are you ready to meet the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, the one who made you, who gave life to you? Are you ready? Brothers and sisters, and if you don't know Jesus, become a brother or sister in Christ. Ask Jesus into your heart today. Follow those who follow Jesus. What I mean by that is get on the narrow path. Because Jesus warned us that wide is the path that leads to destruction. If you, if you have not surrendered your heart to Jesus yet, you are one who is on that wide path. And why I say that is because the wide path 
is the easy way. The wide path is the path of least resistance that many people therein go. Go therein. I'll get that right scripture. Hold on. I might as well do that too. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. I'm going to just look it up right here. Let's do this. Maybe the Lord will lead us to something. Wide. KJV, of course. KJV. Wide is the path. That ought to do it, right? Enter. Matthew 7, 14. I was, I was close. I was in Matthew. I just couldn't find the scripture quick enough, so I thought I'll just do it right now. Here we are. King James Bible, the only true Bible you can trust because it is the only one that is the complete word of God without any ad words added to or taken away. Um, word for word translation. Matthew 7, 13 through 14. Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. 14. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. So here I am. Here we are, brothers and sisters in Christ. I guess what we're looking for is the few who will find it. The few out there, I pray, will be you as a part of the few. I pray that the few that find it We'll hurry up and find it really so we can get out of here but that's sad the sad thing is is there will be only a few that find it so the rest of you those of you who are out there I pray none of you watching this video are not one of the few I pray that you're not uh, that are one of the few that find it and that you're not on the wide path but the wide path that leads to destruction that's that's the path that leads to hell and, and as I said in that last video, pride, pride and a haughty heart God hates and it comes before destruction. Because pride, you're always puffed up about yourself and your things that you're doing and, you know, you're boasting on yourself and, and, and uh, loving, loving your life here. Jesus said, if you love your life, I said that in that last video too, go watch that last video, just go watch it. It says urgency, urgent or whatever. And then please share it with someone who's not saved, because that's what I'm speaking to, is the unbelievers. We want them to become believers. And that's why there's only a few who will see these messages, because the devil has a lot. He has many who he blocks. He deters them from finding these messages. He will do that. He's sneaky. He's, he's wicked. He's evil. He's a liar and the father of all lies. So, um, anyway, I, I, I don't know. Maybe I'll just make my potato salad and just forget about telling you all about Jesus. What does it matter? You guys don't care, do you? Let's just put the egg salad in here and let's just do a little love the world, love the food video. Okay. Love not the world, nor the things of the world. For if you love the world and the things of the world, then the love of the Father's not in you. Oh, well. No. <laughs> no, it's not just, oh, well. It's, well, what am I going to do about it then? Yeah, potato salad's yummy. Yeah, um, you know, going to sports and going to, I don't know, vacations and finding beautiful places of the world to go look at the beauty of God's good, beautiful, green, beautiful earth. It's awesome out there in the world if you're not looking. I don't know where it's really that awesome, actually. Forget I said that. <laughs> love not the world. Just love the beauty of it. God's creation, the sunsets. I love the sunsets are beautiful, and he's showing us many of them. So there are there are still beautiful things, but there's a lot of evil in this world. Actually, there's way more evil. Wide is the path that leads to destruction, and few there be going the narrow path. So obviously, the evil has taken over this world, and the evil, or it is taking it over. It's not quite done yet. We're not. We're still here, so the light is still shining. But that wide path. Is reflecting all this evil we're seeing everywhere we can see there's people on their way to destruction on their way to hell we can see it you know judge by the fruits judge by the fruits you guys again out of the heart out of the mouth speaks the heart the abundance of your heart what's going on in you this is a, still an extension of the urgency in the last video just do what God wants you to do trust in the Lord call upon his son Jesus and be saved and again, the hardest part, like I said in that last video, go watch it. 
is to just surrender your heart to just admit you need to be saved. There's that ABCs of salvation, like you see on other channels. It's it's pretty simple. A, you need to admit you're a sinner. That's the first step. That oh, you gotta swallow your pride. Okay, forget. You just just push it, pride all away. Admit you're a sinner. Admit it. You know you're a sinner. None of us are perfect. No, not one. None of us. And we all fall short of the glory of God. We are all here to serve God. But do we? Not really. Till we get saved. Once you get saved, you're born again. You certainly love the Lord Jesus Christ with all your heart. And then you want to serve Him. Then you want to be in His will. Sounds crazy to people out there who are not saved, though. They think it's crazy. You know, before I was following Jesus years ago, I, you know, I wasn't a heavy drinker, not by any means. I mean, if I ever drank at all, it was very weird. But then I had, uh, someday I'll maybe share a testimony. Ah, that would be awful. I don't even know where to begin with that testimony. But anyway, um, I thought it was odd because I was surrounded by people that always drank. I thought it was odd that this, that someone that I met didn't drink, you know, he, I thought it was weird. Well, you know why he didn't drink? Because he promised his dad before he passed away that he'd never take a drink. Now, can't we promise our dad, our Father in Heaven, that same thing? To honor him and do what's right. There's no drunkards in Heaven. I'm so glad Jesus didn't come back. I wasn't a drunkard, but I had my, I had my fun with the world and testing things like that, you know? I didn't get into drugs, but I was no angel. I thought I was a pretty good person, though. No. I sure fell short of God's glory. I sure let down a lot of people now that I look back. We all need Jesus. And it is urgent. If you don't know Him, don't take your next breath without Jesus. It could be your last. If you die in your sins, there's a burning place called hell. That is very real. God has no use for us unless we call on His Son. John 3.16 Look it up. John 14.6 Look it up. Jesus paid a heavy price for our sins so that we could have life and life more abundantly with Him in Heaven because He loves us so much gave up his life willingly. He shed his blood on that cross. He knew he came here to do that. He, he, didn't, he didn't try to get away from doing that, except for the moment he was praying, Lord, if it be your will, take this cup from me. Let this cup pass from me. He was so worried, or so, what's the word? Worry. Nah, I don't think that fits Jesus. It would be a sin. But he poured, he, he was sweating blood, you know, as he was praying to God for what he was about to do for us. He was humiliated on that cross. But he knew it would be over. He knew that soon it would be very, very, very difficult to get through, but that soon it would be over. And he'd be alive, risen from the dead. He knew this. He was perfect. He was, the, he was the final sacrifice, the Lamb of God. And his precious blood is what set us free from our sins. If, that little word, if we trust in him, if we believe in him, if we ask him to be our Lord and Savior. Romans 10 verse 9, if you profess with your mouth, Lord Jesus, and you believe in your heart, God rose him from the dead, you shall be saved. Believe who he is. He's the son of God. Believe what he did for you. He died on the cross to pay the price for your sins. Believe that he rose from the dead. Believe. Just believe in Jesus. Let go of your pride. Pride, pride, pride. God hates pride. Don't, don't keep being prideful, all about you, 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 and look at me, look at me, I did this, I did that. Take the I out of your speech. Look to Jesus. Thank Him for all that you have and do and your blessings. 
before he takes them away. It can happen. And let me say one final thing. God blessed America. Oh yes, he did. But I think our blessings are running out. Pray for this nation, everyone. Pray for God to have mercy on us. Things are moving quickly. And things... Uh, doesn't look good for this country. Look, look at Bible prophecy and you'll understand if you don't know. Jesus is coming. But be ready for anything. Be ready. Always. And pray. In Jesus' name. God bless you all. Love you.